Greetings YouTubers, this is Gene, aka the Brooklyn Blue Jay, bringing to you on a Tuesday, which is unusual, but uh, I just want to give you guys a quick update. I tried making an update over the weekend, and I was just so busy, it just never happened. But um, anyway, um, I just tried to focus on my fat, there she is, my fat girl. She is so preggers. But, um, yeah, I don't have the, uh, the time or the resources to really pour into, um, trying to, uh, have a, what do you call it, a little hatchery going on here. These fish, um, the glow light tetras I hear, they are egg scatterers. So this setup is, like, really not conducive to that anyway. Um... Yeah, she's going to want to scatter her eggs about in here. It's nice and dark and so on and so forth. But uh, I just I just can't. I just can't have a bunch of babies right now. So uh, I'm sad about that. But uh, I just can't do it. I just don't have it. Anyway, um, quick update. Like I said, and I'm already blabbering and jibber-jabbering. Um, I had, like, quite a go with this... Um, with these floating plants the salvinia i took out like so much of it and already in the last whatever week and a half so much of it came back and uh i had a huge situation with the frog bit um frog bit was uh, under attack just looking horrible horrible like look like straight up melting it looked like like the leaves were just being gnawed away and and I panicked and I'm like okay what's causing this um I mean it was just like melting so badly and it just looked so peculiar and I started doing my detective work and I started thinking okay what have I done in the past week or so to make this plant look so drastically different and by the way sorry you know it's or it's Tuesday and already so much uh evaporation um but yeah, you know what? I learned pothos plants and frogbit hate each other because I had put this pothos in there in the uh, in the twenty gallon, and a few days later, all my frogbit was like showing up with holes and this weird melting pattern, and it looked like like it was chewed away and all kinds of stuff. I took out the pothos, put it here in the the um the the hang on back of the 5.5 and my frog bit is bouncing back um so now for the sneak peek of my 5.5 and that piece of driftwood you guys might recognize it from the uh when i had the 15 gallon set up so it's a very well established piece of wood um and these are just like little little plantlets that were um, off of the uh, uh, the sword plant and actually a tiny sprig of um, of uh, what is that java java fern and I still have I have java moss back there I have some java moss stuffed in there um, yeah so I think I won some shrimp from Luke Diesel and uh, if I did, that would be totally exciting to have them in this little 5.5. Um, yeah, I was setting this up for a beta fish. I was, I've was i always wanted a beta, but uh, then uh, I got the contest results, and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this will work if, I, if I'm, if i you know, I'm second place, I think, so I think I win some shrimp. Um, so that would be so, so, so cool to have them in there. But uh, yeah, here's another quick look at the, at the 20. Um, I don't know. I think painting this background black was probably just like a bad idea because I can never film. I just can't film this tank. I can never get any good footage. So you guys always suffer and just look at these stupid plants up here on the top because that's the only place I can focus well. It's just way too dark in here. So anyway, um, yeah, I think, I think that's, I think that's everything. I think that's all my points here. Um, so as usual, thank you guys so much for, uh, sticking by me and for tolerating all my, uh, jibber jabber, whatever. 
Um, thank you again to uh, Loop Diesel and uh, congratulations to everyone, to all the contestants. That was an amazing contest and I learned a lot. Um, I learned a lot of uh, information and stuff from the rest of the uh, aquarium community, like just who we are and uh, a lot of good folks out there. So anyway, um, thank you again uh, for your support. And this is Jean, a.k.a. the Brooklyn Blue Jay. Be well all.